turns out that boys develop at a different rate to girls. When a little baby boy is born, he's already three weeks behind what a little baby girl would be. You have to work that little bit harder with a baby boy to kind of switch him on, get him to kind of light up and come on the outside. And so it's three, th three weeks is a big difference when, you, when you're born. But they don't catch up neurologically with girls till they are 19. It's quite a while, isn't it, to catch up? Some of you are still waiting for them to catch up. <laughs> and it's, and it's, not, it's, not even a, it's not even a straight line either. It's not like there's a girls and there's a boys. It varies. And so at the age of five, which is when we start school in this country, not many countries start that early, the age of five, the average boy is six to 12 months behind the average girl. That's, isn't that a lot of time when you're five? And what, what we say behind, what is that in? It's in two things, fine motor skills, holding stuff with your hands, doing neat stuff, and talking, language. And those that think neat work and talking well, that's what school kind of is about. And so, We've had this um, realization that we've, that we've come to know is that boys, they don't even develop in the same sequence as girls. That girls, when they're about four years old, their fingers are really good. A little four-year-old girl, she just picks up a pen, she just does stuff like that. Girls develop fine motor skills first. You've got to get girls out on trampolines, throwing medicine balls, build up some core strength, but no trouble with that stuff. Boys develop trunk first, <laughs> then limbs. They're wiring up the, the muscles to the brain outwards, trunk, limbs, and then finally, when they're done, digits, fingers and toes last. And so the average little boy, five or six years of age, he's sitting in a classroom and he knows that a good boy is a still boy. And he tries. <laughs> you know? He tries, but his, his, body, his body knows what it needs. You know, if I'm going to wire up arms and legs, I've got to use arms and legs. So his body calls out to him and says, move me. <laughs> And every, every, I bet you, every man in the room, tonight's audience is 50% men, it's brilliant. Every man in the room remembers that feeling of being stuck behind a desk, having to sit, and it hurts. It just hurts. And eventually, it's just like, oh, what the heck, and he's off. <laughs> and he's in trouble. <laughs> There's a boy moving. <laughs> and, We've had incredible response. Rooms like this with 700 early childhood educators jumping out of their seats because they've known this forever. We should not start school by the calendar. The calendar is a terrible guide to school readiness because all, all kids are different. Everyone should get to go to kindy. It should be three mornings a week is enough. That's actually the optimum. Any more than just wears them out. Everyone should have that. And then when in kindy, you have a talk with the kindy teacher and say, what do you think? Is he sitting down and, you know, doing some, does he ever sit still for 10 minutes and do stuff? Can okay, you put some sentences together and, and make that the basis of whether to start formal schooling or not? And I think in the school of the future, the average boy will be a year older than the girl he sits beside. And developmentally, they'll be on a par and boys will like school. 